We're going to be in first prize. I found this really cool guy. I was just going to go out and take some pictures of some mushrooms growing on the side. There's a, there's a tree next to our house that's died. And, um, oh, that lost me. Anyway, um, the tree is dead. There's mushrooms slowly growing on it. And underneath one of the mushrooms is. Do, 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 do. What is this? It is the shell from a cicada. How awesome is this? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I shouldn't be this excited, but I am. I don't care. Um. Practically skipped on the way. Oh, that's good. Okay, so like this is where the eye was, or the two eyes, and then this is the mouth and the little. And he's got his little claws are actually gripping the side of the mushroom. And then this is the area where the shell broke open, so that he could go and leave the inner part of the shell. How awesome is that? I'm so happy. Okay, we're at 10x. Let's see what we can see here. First of all, I want to see down inside. Now, all insects do not have an interior skeleton. They have an exoskeleton. I'll take a picture of that. So that would be part of where, one of the holes where the, the legs go down, and this would have been the central... I don't know what you want to call it. I am not. Oh wait. I wanted to go back to 10x. I wanted to change my Okay. Sorry. I'm not thinking. Gosh. Look at the wrinkles on that. Like the texture in there is just absolutely stunning. Okay. Bring our focus out. Now, bugs, you might not realize this until you've looked at a bug under a microscope. They are all, they are all like super hairy. And they have hairs all over them that allows them to kind of sense. Oh, we have some hair there. 20, 30x. Let's just go to 30x. Yeah, you can kind of see some of the hairs there. It has like this armor plating and so this exoskeleton is just like a a mold in essence. Let's see if I can get this. I guess I don't have much of a choice there. Okay. Anyway, so let's zoom back out a bit. And we'll find fun. Yeah, that's good. Let's see what else we can find on here. Let's see. I can't wait. To, I really want to put this in the SEM because I'd like to see what that fracture surface looks like. I assume that it's going to be um, a fast fracture, like a brittle material. But maybe there's some fatigue. I don't know. I'm curious to find out. I can't really see as close as I can get. This would have been part of the the line where it broke across. There's probably a specific. I, I imagine that it's narrower here, so that it will break along that spine. 
because um, when you you want to break at the the weakest point, and so they would they not they, but you know over evolution or whatever you believe in the that point would have been thinner so maybe there's like a crease right there that then it breaks along this this looks rather um it does look like it would be some sort of ductile because you can see all these bright points when you're looking at metals and you see like it almost sparkles at you that's ductile usually or ductile cracking sorry I'll include a, a, an example. So here's some examples uh, in A and B. These are dimple type ductile fractures. So you can see um, this very much a dimpling look to it. Um, and then uh, C is an intergranular brittle fracture. You can see where it almost comes to a perfect try three, corn, three point edge. I know I'm not making sense because I can't show you my, my cursor, but basically you can see how some of the lines come in and they make almost a perfect thirds as if there was a, a circle there and you're dividing it into a perfect thirds. And then D is a transgranular quasi-cleavage fracture. Um, there may be some cleavage in this fracture that we're going to see. I got all these uh, from a research paper on researchgate.net you can go there I will include a link below it was all about Martin Siddick steel which was very interesting but if you look at this fracture you can see that there is um, I didn't really see dimpling so I was wrong about that but it is an irregular surface which is why it's reflecting the light more and it seems to be almost as if there's like it starts cracking on that outside edge and it has almost like a case before it comes into almost river lines pointing towards the interior part of the, the, the animal itself. This makes sense because when you're bending something it tends to crack on the outside surface before it cracks on the inside surface and so you've got river lines which are the lines that are pointing kind of flowing back towards the interior of the shell. So I thought it was very interesting. I'm going to tell you right now, that is not a face you want to take home to your mom. All right. <coughs> I'm just saying she might be a little concerned. Honey, I think you can do better. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, what did I do wrong, man? Dude, I was just just sitting here chilling out, man. Got the whiskers. Actually, he's kind of goofy looking. Check out these claws. Sorry, my paper in the back is kind of getting in the way. Look at those things. It looks like there's like actually something that, like if you look right here, that's like the end of the claw, but I wonder if this is something else. Like there's little pinchers down here. That is crazy cool. Oh my gosh, there are little claws within claws. Let's get the 10x. I hope you guys are all as geeky as I am. No, we don't want it quite that. Yeah, okay. So that's 10x. Go up to 20x.
You can see it actually puncture in there. Oh, I can't wait to put this in the SEM. It's going to be so cool. So cool. Oh, we're at, yeah, we're at 30x. Yes, I did put it in the SEM and I saw some really cool things. I'm going to be sprinkling the pictures probably at the end of all of this, but I wanted to put the claws in here just so that you could see them like stabbing into the material itself. It's just so cool. There's definitely a line there that it, it's almost like pre-cracked. Um, and I think it's interesting that it's like a tri, tri corner break. So when you look at intergranular fractures on metals, they always come to like a, a three point thirds like it's almost perfect many times and so I think it's interesting that this cracks there too that it's kind of designed to do that a few days ago I was also out for a walk and I found this guy so this is an actual cicada. It's dead, but it's not. It's not the shell. This is the the actual body. So I'm curious. Yeah, there is a little like if did I take a picture? I did not take a picture. There. Um. So it's just above this. Okay, so C, we're at 7x. So C, here's the whiskers. Well, they're not whiskers, the antennae, whatever they're called. Anyway, you actually see this line come right up here, and then there's a circle right here. So that is, and then this would come back off this way. So that would connect into this circle here. So that's, I think, where it would start. Like, they would start to push out through this. And then you have this seam coming along the back. Gosh, that's beautiful. It looks like gold, doesn't it? I think it's just hair. It's pretty. Okay, let's do 10x. Could be dust of gut. No, nope, that's like hair with. I'm gonna take a couple pictures at different focuses, and that then I'll just stitch them together later on. the colors. Hey look it's the golden arches. Yeah a marble. The wings, how cool is that? I love that like almost river of green. Okay, 
I'm gonna have to do another couple different focuses. It's just beautiful. I feel like Renita. I had a co-worker named Renita. She thought everything was beautiful and she was right. Everything is. But it just See if I can flip this guy over, a girl. Looks like that, huh? So much hair on books. It's amazing. I don't know why. I think it's to feel the wind, and that tells you, uh, gives you, because when there's changes in the air pressure. It tells you when someone's near you. So it's a useful thing for that. Or at 10. Let's go up to 30 again. I like this grill. I don't know why. I like the. I just like it. Let's look at the eye. Because everyone always wants to look at the eyes. Look deeply in the eye. Tell me. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm gonna see. I see. Yep. And let's see. Different legs. I don't see those claws like we saw on the other one. Maybe they got torn off. Maybe they don't need them. I mean, they got the little ones. And actually, when I try and pick them up, like I can feel it catch on my fingers, where the little, the little claws just kind of grab on, little pinchers. All right, so that's all I got for today. Um, I will attach SEM images as well of both these guys. I'll take them and check them out over this weekend. So, bye. So I'll leave you with a few final pictures. This one is of the cicada skin at that tri point, um, just in the face where I think it started cracking. And then this is the actual cicada itself. And so you can see like the, the different circles there. I don't know what those things really are. I should probably look them up, but I haven't. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and and this got you interested in looking at the world a little bit differently. So here's the, the eye on the side. And you can kind of see the surface as we zoom in. It has multiple eyes or multiple lenses within the eye. And then, of course, pictures of the wing because the wings are, are just gorgeous. Even though it's a cicada, I still think they're gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And check out my books on Amazon. Uh, thank you and have a lovely day. Bye.